So this one is incredibly simple and can be incredibly handy depending on what you're trying to do. So real quick, I'm just going to draw a bunch of sketch entities. Depending on the complexity of your model, like you could have maybe a layout sketch that has all sorts of lines crossing over each other, um, dimensions, like all sorts of crazy things. But maybe you need to do a power trim. So let's get... Where'd trim go? Oh, trim entity is up here. So using the power trim command. So the way it works is, you know, you hold down your left mouse and you drag around and it creates this gray line. When you let go, the command completes and you're all done. So if you were to uh, start dragging around, you know, getting rid of all your stuff, but you're like, oh no, I didn't want to get rid of that one. Instead of just releasing like I did and completing the command, you'll have to undo. So instead of doing that, I'm telling you that there is a better way. See this red dot that showed up? That red dot is at the point where your mouse crossed over the sketch entity. And if you hover back over it, the thing that you just got rid of comes back. And you can manually undo each of these things until you fix your mistake. And then complete your command. And you won't have to press undo and start over. This will save you if you often find yourself maybe misclicking or you moved your mouse too fast. Um, sometimes as a trackpad user, uh, maybe my trackpad is a little messy because I've been like working all day and maybe I moved my finger too far and then I accidentally crossed over a line that I actually care about. Um, in the past, I would just stop what I'm doing, undo the entire command and redo my power trim from the beginning. But knowing this, I can just back up over the red dots until I get to the part where I messed up and then keep everything that was before that and I won't have to start over. 